Hey guys, it's Big King back with a pretty long overdue installment of a new Classic WoW video. Basically what I'm going to be doing or the next couple of videos I'm going to be doing are putting out videos related directly to farming and making gold. And the reason I want to do that is I see a lot of the the websites that are out to help people. They're really, really dated and I'm kind of questioning some of the gold per hour um, that the methods that are listed. So I know many of us have went to Google, typed in how to make classic wild gold, and you see a plethora of all these different farms and all these different gold per hours. And I just wanted to test it and see if it was right. So basically, I'm making a series to uh, investigate that. So without any more bullshit, let's get down to business. The mobs that we're going to be talking about today are the Sky Shadow mobs, and they're found in Deadwind Pass. The birds are strewn about all around the map in a circuit kind of and you can just farm them in basically a round trip this type of farm will be making the vast majority of our money through vendor trash surprisingly as shown in the video these are the items you want to look out for when you're killing sky shadow mobs they drop a wealth of vendor items that sell for a pretty penny like i said before iron feathers buzzard wings giant eggs mystery meat sells like shit uh, vibrant plumes, you can sell those in the auction house. Feathery wings sell really good. Buzzard beaks sell like crap. Mysterious unhatched eggs sell well to the vendor. Elegant writing tools sell very well to the vendor. And um, you also want to be on the lookout for possibly some travelers' backpacks, a thorium lockbox here and there. And by the end of the video, you'll definitely see most of those in the end hall. And so now that you know what you're killing and what you're going to get out of them, how are you going to do it? Well, you can either enter through Duskwood or the Swamp of Sorrows, right along yonder. And basically, you just make a big circle all around here. Get your guys here. There you go. Bada boom, bada bing. And you're going to kill these guys so fast that you're going to have some downtime. You can head down into here, into the vice where there's a bunch of ogres. Now, in this cave right here, there's a level 58 ogre warlock he drops a rare enchanting recipe i believe and it sells for a good amount of money i think it's intellect on bracers so anytime you're waiting for these guys to pop back up um just head down over here they can drop a uh, cloth mana pots etc etc but you're really hoping for the uh the warlock to drop the big big green enchanting meanie recipe so i'm not trying to bore you to death so i'm not going to make you watch me kill a hundred of these birds but uh, yeah, this is me killing the 100th bird, and we're gonna go into analyzing the loot that we got right after this. So basically what I did was I killed these 100 birds. I organized my bag all nice, like as you can see in the top right hand corner, and I'm not gonna go through naming off every single item and how much they're selling for. If you really want to, you can just pause the video and look at that. But essentially, when it was all said and done, I amassed 41 gold and about 75 uh, silver farmed in approximately an hour and 45 minutes. Now this you have to remember this farming was completely uncontested and my gear was a mix of some MC pieces and absolute pre-raid pre BIS. So when it comes down to it you're getting about approximately 23 gold per hour. Now. This doesn't take into account, or I don't even know if you'd want to factor it into account anyways, but um, I've seen many travelers' backpacks dropped while farming these guys in my uh, glory days. So occasionally you're going to have that drop, that boost your gold per hour up to say 30 or so. You're going to get a couple more lucky greens or a couple better uh, vendor drops, etc. But other than that, that's the whole shebang and that's what I got for you guys. Well... I hope you like my content guys, um, so if you could please comment below, maybe give me a like, and subscribe as well, I mean, that would be great, but even better, even better, you could donate to my PayPal, my Patreon, you could make a direct deposit in my bank, you could donate in Ripple, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, I take them all, I'm struggling. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you WoW community.